things that I wish I would have done differently when I started my business. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming in. If you're new here, welcome to Kiss of Silk. I'm Kristen. And hopefully someone takes some knowledge from this video. You don't have to make the same mistakes because here we are growing together. I would have just recorded and not worried about the background or the aesthetic feature of my home. I would have just set my camera up and started recording. Who really cares what your house looks like? Why does someone else's opinion matter so much about your house? For real. Ask yourself that. Like, what am I, what am I worried about? What will someone say, a stranger or anyone or even people I know? What exactly are they gonna say? I would have just taken out my camera in the beginning instead of worrying about what people thought about my aesthetic background because as you can see it's not that aesthetic but that's okay with me because this is where I run my business this is my warehouse this is what keeps my business running I definitely feel like if I had started recording and like actually like consistently recording instead of trying to record this or record that and then trying to cut the background out because I didn't want people to see what all of this was looking like back there. Like, I do think that my content creation could have been further by now, but you know what? The best time to start is today. Don't bombard yourself with multiple things. Don't overfill your plate. When I first started my business, I wanted to do a little bit of this. I wanted to do a little bit of that. I wanted to do this, this, that, that. <laughs> and it made it harder to stick to one plan and finish up that one plan. Instead, I was on plan A, B, C, and D. When I really could have finished plan A the day before, and then I could have gone over to plan B, which would have became the next plan A. You see what I mean? Don't undercut yourself. That does mean charging your worth, how much you should be charging versus how much it costs you to make the materials. You need to make sure you factor in your time and how much it costs you to make the product. And you shouldn't be so afraid to charge your worth either. There is no excuse. If you want to, if you want to, start a business or even if you want to be your own boss in some ways or if you want to work for yourself and you have the plan and you have the goal in your head already i can't think of any excuse you you or anyone could tell me why you wouldn't be following your dreams you come up to me one day or something you're like yeah i have a goal i have a dream mm -hmm. well okay cool I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. How are you gonna get there? So what are, you, what are you doing to get there? We're friends here. So I think we should be honest with each other. There's no excuse you could tell me that would make me think that is the reason why you can't start your business or start doing what you want to do. You could tell me you don't have the money. Okay, I understand that, I do. And this is just me. It might be controversial, but this is just me. You have $2 to put away, put $2 away here. Put $2 away there. Put another $2 away there. Keep putting money away and saving money to do that. And like I said, I do know inflation is extremely high right now. I, under, I definitely, yes, I get it. And I understand how it feels to live paycheck to paycheck. Put that little bit of money away that you have left after your bills. If you just have $5 left to spend, but all your bills are paid, and I mean all bills, like your groceries, I'm, I'm talking about if everything's taken care of, you have $50 left to your name until that next paycheck. After after no after you've taken care of all your responsibilities i'm gonna use this 50 dollars to go out use that 50 dollars and invest in your dream that sandwich can wait 
that sushi that you wanted to go out with. I know you wanted to have a great time. I know you I know you've been tired. I know that you want to just have this one luxury. You take that $50 and you invest in yourself and instead of going to have that one luxury that you've been wanting, put it towards your business idea or that product that you've been wanting to do or that one piece of equipment that you've been wanting to save up for, start saving it. You can sacrifice that one luxury for multiple future luxuries. You can. It is very possible. And I'm not saying it isn't hard. I'm not saying that it isn't hard because it definitely is. And if it were easy, everybody would do it, okay? It's not easy at all. By no means am I saying that $50 is a lot of money. I know it's not, but you can take that and you can save it. That piece of equipment is $200, okay. Take the $50, save it until you get your $200 to buy whatever you need. You don't need to buy that new dress. You don't need to buy those new shoes. You don't need to buy that new purse or that makeup. You don't need that game, okay? You don't need any of that. You can take that money and one day you can buy yourself 50 million of those things that you wanted before. There you go, okay? And this one is for product providers, markets. When you're growing your business, markets are absolutely essential for your business. Yeah, you. it's good to put a face to a brand, okay? And I know that you can definitely have really great success without ever doing a market. You can. But if you want to grow your local, your local audience, and just to really kickstart your business, and this is my own personal experience, when I was starting my business and I was just doing Instagram, you know, just having my content on Instagram and Facebook and um, TikTok wasn't even around when I was, when I started my business. So <laughs> I just did the, those platforms. When someone is able to meet you in person and connect with you in person, you're just more likely to get in order that way and gain a customer or future customer or one-time customer just to gain gain an audience i'm an introvert and when i tell you when i first when i first was signing up for markets and looking for markets i kept in my head i was in my head a lot i was like oh no i, I can't be around all those people <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that i don't i don't oh i'm too worried like, no, I'm too anxious. Like, I can't do that. You better do it, okay? You you can do it. Stop saying you can't because you can. You can do it, okay? It is possible. And I'm not one person to believe in when someone says they can do it, so can you. I'm not one person to believe in that all the time because there's different circumstances for different things, okay? You can do that market. You can do that market. There are so many, when you sit down and do the research for the markets, there are there are large markets, there are small markets. When you're first starting out, it's good to start out with a small market first so that you can first figure out how you want the whole market experience to go for yourself without being bombarded by multiple people walking by your booth and you're not actually prepared because it's one of your first or you're in the beginning stages of doing markets. You don't want to empty your pockets on a market when you're just starting before you actually start making money from your products. If this is your first market, unless you just have the extra money, cool. You can do what you wanna do, but doing the small markets first so that you can gain some experience first and so that you can just see how the markets go before you fully just throw yourself in there. It's easier to just do that. And then you keep moving up as you go and markets can range from zero to a thousand plus dollars. Markets are never promised. 
how much you make out of market is never ever ever promised i hope this video helped somebody watching this because i know that it would have helped me very much when i was younger and when i was starting if it did make sure to hit the like button subscribe to follow along with the journey and just come be part of the community i really do want you here if you have any questions or comments let me know below because i really i, I want to read them and i want to answer any questions that you guys have and as we keep growing and as we keep growing on youtube i hope to gain some more questions thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye